All right, let's go play Chambers Bay. So I didn't take a whole lot of videos of me playing golf that day. This video is mainly just gonna be some commentary of the golf course uh, at Chambers Bay at University Place, Washington. Uh, I also have a couple buddies that are in the video. I don't know if they really want to be named, so I'm just gonna call them Mario and Luigi. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Thank you very much, Siri. So the clubhouse is a ways away from the first tee. You have to take a shuttle bus, which is kind of like an airport shuttle bus, uh, down to the first tee. Clubhouse is pretty cool. It's got a great restaurant. Um, they had a lot of cool memor memorabilia from all the USGA events uh, inside the clubhouse. They had um, a U replica US Open trophy, which you'll see right now. Um, they also had... I don't know if it's a replica of the scorecard uh, when Jordan Spieth won the 2015 Open or if it's the original scorecard. You can see it here. It's really kind of a cool feature inside the clubhouse. So they do have a driving range off to the right there. Uh, also a pretty large practice putting green. We didn't get a chance to hit a lot of balls because we showed up about, you can see there from the clock there, about five minutes before our tee time. Uh, but we did hit a few putts, really large uh, putting green to practice on. Again, the greens are pretty large here at Chambers Bay, so it was kind of nice to have a, a large green to practice on. They did have a usamtour.com event going on that day, so they had like little trophies and stuff set up kind of near the clubhouse, which is kind of cool to see. See hole number one off to the left there and hole 10 off to the right. So there it is, hole one, a 405 yard par four. There's Luigi saying hi. Hole one originally was a par five, but they switched it to a par four a couple years ago. I ended up playing it like a par five and just made a bogey. Okay, hole two, a 337 yard par four. I believe I just took like a four iron off the tee to get out in the fairway. Uh, I think I had like an eight iron into the hole. Um, was able to, to get within about 10 feet and miss a birdie putt. The entire hole slopes from right to left, so our caddy was telling us just to kind of keep it right and stay away from that waste bunker and you'll, you'll end up fine. Hole three was a 130 yard par three. I think I hit a wedge to about eight feet and missed that putt too. It is quite a long distance to the tee box on number four, so Chambers does provide you with a shuttle uh, so you don't have to walk up the hill, which was kind of nice. And they did have kind of a rest area and restrooms um, in between holes. Okay, we're through three holes here at Chambers Bay. I'm currently one over, playing the forward tees, not the forward forward tees, but the forward tees, just because it's been a rough, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> because it's been a rough weekend of golf. We're all tired, our bodies are in shock. And uh, yeah, gonna have a good round. Hole four, a 424 yard par five. It dog legs to the right. This one actually had a pretty wide fairway, so took out driver and managed to get in the fairway. Um, I think this actually used to be a par four. They switched the pars between hole one and hole four a couple years ago. Um, don't know why, they're all hard, but again, great views on this hole. I managed to hit a little 50 yard flop shot in the green on this hole and walk away to the par. Here's Mario looking to sink a 15 foot putt. Comes up just a little bit short. The greens actually weren't too bad. They weren't either too fast or too slow. They were pretty good speed. A 394 yard par four, all downhill here on number five. Here's Luigi getting ready to bomb a drive down the middle. Crushed it. This was the first hole where I kind of got a little bit unlucky and my drive just leaked into the waste bunker there on the left. I just had to pitch yeah. out and ended up making a bogey. This is Mario here just with the Texas wedge. If you were 30 yards off the green, you could putt and still be fine. This was our first view of the train going by. And you can see in the background there, the only tree that is on the golf course. Hole six here is a 369 yard par four. This was a hole where you just wanted to keep it left just to kind of miss all the, the crap there on the right. Uh, if you kept it left, you had a kind of a good angle into the green on the right side. Just had to, it was on the hillside there, so I had to lay up in front of the green there. Yellow ball right there. Two up after five, hit it on the hillside over there. So I had to chip out and make another bogey. Hole seven, a 415 yard par four, dog leg right up the hill. This was actually a monster from the back tees, from the Navy tees. It is 482 yards. 
So with our next approach shot, our caddy was telling us that you want to be long. If you catch the front of the green, it can roll all the way back down the hill. Hole eight is a 488 yard par five, slopes from left to right. I totally recommend getting a caddy. It's actually been pretty dang helpful and pretty fun. It's been a great experience so far. No wind really, it's been fun. So the views from hole eight are pretty spectacular. It overlooks the entire golf course. It was definitely one of those moments where you just had to stop and take it all in. Hole 8's fairway has an upper tier and a lower tier. Uh, I managed to kind of keep it on the lower tier to have a good shot into the green and managed to make par. Hole 9, a 144 yard par 3, but it's all downhill and it was playing more like 130 yards. On this hole, as long as you kept your tee shot left of that front waist bunker, everything would kind of funnel back towards the flag. The view of a T box here at hole number nine. Green's just down there. There's kind of the practice facility right there. So cool seeing the train come through. There's the park down there. It's like a park. That's the weird thing too. There are people who are just kind of randomly walking through here sometimes. Just finished up the front nine. Three over, shot a 39. I don't think I've broken 40 all week. So that 39. That chambers feels great. Well, 10, looks a little tight. And it was tight, 360 yard par four. Uh, it is a little deceiving off the tee. It looks like uh, those waste bunkers are closer than they actually are. I hit a four iron off the tee and I had a five iron into the hole. And you gotta be a little bit careful on your approach shot. There's a bunker here just to the left of the green and getting out of it can be tricky just cause the, the green slopes away from the bunker. Um, so it's really, really tough to get it close to the pin. Oh. Shot. Hole 11, 402 yard par four, 457 yards from the Navy tees. The play on this hole was to just keep everything out to the right. If you kept everything right, it would catch the slope and just funnel back down towards the hole. Luigi got himself in a little bit of trouble here, but at least he kept it right and he was able to just play the slope and just work the ball down towards the hole. Hole 12, this is the fun one. This is the 246 yard drivable par four. They got these cool informational plaques here. 12th hole, yielded the most eagles on a single hole in the US Open. 26 it contributed to a record, 37 eagles during the championship. Didn't lay up on this hole, took out the driver and I was just a couple yards short of the green. I was that yellow ball there on the right. Our caddy was telling us that that pin position is one of the more difficult positions on the green just because it sits on top of that crest and it's just really difficult to get it close to the hole. I think I had like a hundred foot putt for Eagle and I ended up getting a par, which I was pretty happy with. All right, score update. We are still three over through 12 holes. Just finished up on the narrow. That hole was really cool. Playing pretty well still. This course is fun. Like I haven't, haven't lost a ball yet. Beautiful day. Yeah, it's been great. Sun's kind of coming out, getting a little warm with the sweater on, but uh, playing, playing pretty good, having fun. Hole 13, 453 yard par five. This hole was pretty similar to hole number four on the front. Par five, uphill, dog legs to the right, waist bunkers all to the right. Yeah, this par five, it really opens up to the right. Green there. There's my, there's my drive down there. So I missed some footage here. This is hole 14, 374 yard, par four, all downhill, dog leg left. And uh, this is a really cool hole because of course it's got a great view, but it's got this little speed slot kind of past the bunker in the fairway. And if you catch that speed slot, you'll be hitting a wedge into the green. Uh, I kept my approach shot just short of the hole here so that we didn't have to deal with that that kind of crest in the middle of the green and I uh, was able to two putt for a par. Here's Luigi here. He's just going to lag this ball about two feet from the hole. Almost hit Mario's ball. That's some soft hands there, Luigi. Kind of a bummer here today. The 15th hole, signature hole is closed. That's all right. You'll get a 1 18th discount. Three over through 15. Again, didn't play the 15th hole, but still three over. Heading on to 16, short little par four. 
Hole 16, 323 yard par four, with a train off to the right. It's so cool with the train. So I did manage to have Luigi take one video of me hitting the ball here, and I'm glad it was on this hole. 16th hole, train off to the right. Couldn't get more perfect than that. This hole, again, just trying to keep everything out to the left. Um, didn't want to be in the waste bunker. Didn't want to be like Brandon Grace and push everything out of bounds off to the right. Just wanted to stay in the fairway. Took the hybrid out, did the safe play. So on my approach shot, I had about 135 yards left. Uh, the pin was in the back of the green where it gets pretty tight. So I wanted to make sure I was, it would come up kind of short and just stay away from the waste bunkers. Ended up with a, a two putt par on the hole. Hole 17, that name is pretty accurate. I definitely derailed on this hole. It's a 142 yard par three. I ended up hitting it in the waste bunker on the left and it was plugged. Three quarters of the ball was probably in the sand. Um, so I had to, it took me a couple swings to get out. Then I had to do kind of a, a tricky flop shot just to get up and down for double. So score update after 17, my first double of the day. Got in the bunker and it was just plugged. Took me a couple shots to get out of the bunker, but yeah, got in the green, made a putt, double. That's all right, we are five over after 17. That is very respectful, I like that. Hole 18, last hole, 487 yard, par five. On my tee shot, I just kind of wanted to play it safe. There's a couple of waste bunkers that are right in the middle of the fairway, and I just wanted to make sure I stayed out of them. I did end up staying just short of it, uh, but I had a really, really weird stance, and I had to kind of just chip out. Final round, Jordan Speed, three wood. What is it from here? It's like 270 to the center. Wow. Yeah, 270 center, probably 283. Right at it. So one of the most famous bunkers on this course is on the 18th hole. That's called Hell's Bunker, and it's 15 feet deep. It's got like a little staircase yeah. that you go in to get into it. Um, it was famous because Tiger Woods topped it into it. I think it was on his second round in the U.S. Open. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if I can get out of it. Here it is. Pretty much the location of the dreaded three putt by Dustin Johnson. Okay, final score update. Ended up 77 on the card. That was a great day. Great day, it was sunny out. Blue, not blue skies, a little overcast. Hopefully I didn't get sunburned. 77, Chambers Bay, that was something.